Here's an example where we want to know the angle between two different two-dimensional vectors. And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to use the definition of the dot product. Uh, remember that A dot B can also be found as the magnitude of A, magnitude of B times the cosine of theta. Well, what we can do is we can evaluate the dot product on the left side by multiplying those two vectors together. And then we can find the magnitudes of A and B, leaving just cosine theta. And theta will be our only variable. So on the left-hand side, we write each vector out, ready to multiply those using the dot product. On the right-hand side, we want the magnitude of each vector. That's the length of the vector. So really what we want to do is we have two sides, and we need to know the third. So it's pretty much the Pythagorean theorem. So the magnitude of A is going to be the square root of each of those two sides squared. And the magnitude B is the square root of its two sides squared. And then we have the cosine of theta. So on the left-hand side, we're going to work out through the dot product. Remember that the dot product is multiplication, so we need to multiply these together. So we're going to distribute the 3i to the 5i, and that gives me 15i dot i. Then we do the 3i to the negative j, so that's negative 3i dot j. Then we multiply the 2j times the 5i, and that gives me 10j dot i. And then we multiply the 2j times the minus j, and that gives me minus 2j dot j. And then that's going to be equal to the square root of 13 and the square root of 26 times the cosine of theta. Then we have to look at these dot products. Remember, the dot product does the vectors in the same direction. Only the same direction counts. Well, if we have i dot i, i and i are in the same direction, so i dot i is 1. i dot j, i and j are perpendicular to each other. Remember, i is the x direction, j is the y direction, so that's 0 j dot i is also 0, and j dot j is in the same direction, so that is 1. So what we get then is the 15 from the i dot i stays with us, and the minus 2 from the j dot j. And then we evaluate square root of 13 is 3.6, square root of 26 is 5.1, and we have our cosine theta term. So we get 13 equals 18.36 cosine theta. We divide both sides by 18.36, and we have cosine theta is 0.71. What we want to do is we want to undo that cosine theta. So we have to do the inverse cosine to both sides. And then the inverse cosine of the cosine cancels out. And the inverse cosine of 0.71 is 44.7 degrees.